for this question, we need to ask the user if they want to read or write. So we need to create a variable called choice, and we use an input command for that to ask the question. Then it says if the answer is right, then we need to create a text file. So here we need to create an if statement. So if choice is equal to write, then we need to create a text file called color. And then we need to open it in write mode. Once we've done that, we need to ask the user for, the, for a color and write that color to the text file. So an input command to ask for a color and file.write to write that to a text file. And we put color in here. Now we don't have to put plus slash and because we're only writing one thing. So we don't, we don't need to go to the next line. And then we also need to close the file to make sure it saves. Now, if they didn't pick write, then we need to go to read. So if they picked read, then we need to ask them for the file name. So we need to create a variable. We can call it file name and input command to ask them for the file name. And then we need to open the file, but this time in read mode. And also, instead of writing color.txt here, we need to put file name plus .txt. Now, they will choose which file to open. Now, what you need to be careful of is if you pick a name that does not exist, for example, if you say names.txt names as your file, but your file is not even in the folder or doesn't exist, your program will crash, even though the code is correct. Okay, so if you do have it, it will read from that text file. So read it is a variable that will store all the contents of the file. So file.read.read .read is the function that will store all the contents of file. Then we need to close the file and then obviously display it on the screen after we've closed it. So you need to display read it as read it contains all the data of your file. Finally, if they didn't pick read or write, then we want to display wrong answer. So you put else for every other option and then you print wrong answer.